In the last video, we learned how to find the least common denominator for rational expressions or radical or rational functions. Now, in this video, we are going to use that to add and subtract rational expression without a common denominator. So, first of all, if you have the same denominator, which is in this example, What do you do? This is very similar to fraction operation. You have one fourth plus three fourth. The bottom, which is the denominator, remain the same. We just need to add or subtract the numerator. This is unlike um, what's that called? Um, multiplication. We don't do the mul we don't do multiplication in the denominator. We just do the operation on the top. So we have 4 out of 4, which is equal to 1. Okay, now this one, they have a common denominator already. So we don't need to do anything. We just need to add or subtract the bottom. Put the parentheses, because sometimes you will end up here as a subtraction. If you're subtracting it, you will change the sign of the second numerator. All right, now let's simplify it. We have a 2x at 12. Okay, but this is not the end <coughs> of your calculation. You're not done because you need to see if you can simplify it by reduce the rational function. To simplify it, we want to factor out the function, let's say. 2x plus 12, when I factor it, I have factored the 2 out, I have x plus 6. In the bottom, I can use an AC method, I have x plus 6, and then Oh, sorry, I'm missing something. This is subtracting 4. You might notice that. Sorry about that. So, this part I should have, if it's a subtracting from a 2x, minus a uh, plus 4. So, again, let's continue. Sorry about that. So, factor the 2 out, you have x plus 2 over AC method, s plus 2 times x minus 4. Common factor, x plus 2. So, you want to dive, divide out x plus 2. So the answer should be 2 over x minus 4. Now, let's do another one. I'm going to show you this one, why it's important to add the parentheses. x minus 6x minus 12 over 3x minus 6 minus 15x minus 6 over 3x minus 6. Now, they have a common denominator, 3x minus 6. You can always pause the video and try to do it by yourself and then come back, play it, and then see, hey, did I get this right? Okay, common denominator, so we don't move it, it's 3x minus 6. Now we have a 6x minus 12, subtract 15x minus 6. If you don't put a parenthesis, you will end up just have minus 6. But this is not true because you're subtracting the whole the numerator. So always put the parentheses for every numerator to prevent that mistake or typo. You forgot to change the sign. Okay, then I got mm, negative. 9x and then plus minus 6 over 3x minus 6. Now, find the common factor, factor them out, and see if I can reduce the rational function. If I factor negative 3 out, I have 3x plus 2. And then in the bottom, I factor 3 out, I have x minus 2. Okay, 
3, they can dive out the common factor of 3. So now your function should be negative 3x plus 2 and then x minus 2. Okay, let's try a one that they don't have a common denominator. Right, now let's start with a simple example that we are familiar with, which is 5 6 at 1 fourth. For this one, we have a denominator 6 and 4, so the least common denominator is going to be 12. In order to build up the least common denominator, we need to multiply 6 by 2 and multiply 4 by 3. To do that, I have multiplied the 2 at 1 fourth, multiply the 3. Now, I have 10 over 12 plus 3 over 12. Now, they have a common denominator. We just need to add the numerator, which is 13 over 12. This is our solution. Okay, example like that, we can try something like 4 over 5a subtract 7b over 4b squared. Okay, so for this one, what will be the least common denominator? of 5a and 4b squared. You can use any way to do it. So this one is going to be 20ab squared. Okay, in order to have that, what element do you mix? Then, then you multiply that for each fraction. So for example, the first one you're missing 4b squared. So that means you need to multiply 4b squared on the top and the bottom. Now, I got 4b squared times 4a over 5b. And then for the second one, I am missing 5a. I just need to multiply 5a on the top and bottom. And now, after multiply, I got 16b squared. The top, you will multiply the top, which is 135ab. The bottom, you will end up to attain the same one. Now, I have 16b squared minus 135ab over 20ab squared. Let's see, do they have a common factor? In this case, yes, they do. The common factor for the top is you have B. I factor the common factor B out. This is what I have left. Now, I need to simplify it. B cross cancel. So what do we have left is 16B squared minus 135A squared over 20AB. So that will be the final solution. Now let's look at a different example. If I have 6 over 8a plus 4 at 3a over 8. The first step is you want to factor them first. That would be easier for you to find the least common denominator. So for the second, for the first rational expression, I have 4, factor the 4 out of 2, 8 at 2. And then this one, when you factor out, I have a 4 times 2. The reason I do that is because I can identify, okay, the common part is 4, the unique part is 2a plus 2 and 2. So that means the least common denominator is going to be 4 times 20, 2a, not 20, at 2 times 2. 
when you simplify it, you end up to have um, you can keep it that or you don't need to simplify it. you can simplify it at the end because if you keep it in this way you know which factor that you are missing for each rational expression for example the first one i have a 4 i have a 2a plus 2 that means i'm missing 2 in that case i need to multiply 2 on the top and bottom for the second one I have 4 and 2, that means I'm missing 2a plus a, um, 2a plus 2, so I need to multiply that. Okay, so the next step is you need to add the numerator together, and the denominator will remain the same. So, denominator is equal to 8 times 2a plus 2 over... On the top, I have 12 plus 3a plus 2. I can do the distribute in here very quick. So I have 6a squared plus 6a. Again, this is not done. You still want to see if I can factor the top so that I can see if I can reduce our fraction. To do that, I need to reorder a little bit. Start with the highest term, which is a square, and to the constant term. Now, take a look. They have a common factor. Oh, you might notice that if you do it by yourself, you might notice that I made the typo. I'm going to correct them with my blue pen. So when I factor the 4 out, here should be 1, not 2, because the 4 was factored out. So here everything is changed to 1. So that means when I distribute... This part should be 3a times 1, which gives me a 3a instead of 6a. So here should be 3a. Okay, um, in order to do that, again, we need to try to factor the top. The top, we have three terms. The first thing we think about is AC method. All right. Before AC method, we can factor the common factor out. We have a 6a, 3a, and a 12b. So they have a common factor 3. So that will make it easier for us to apply the AC method. Okay, now we can try to apply the AC method. We want two number multiplied together equals to 2 times 4, which is 8. We want two number the sum is equal to 1. Well, I couldn't think of any number would satisfy this condition. So that means you cannot factor this polynomial. The factor doesn't work. So that means that is already the simplest form. In that case, I can reduce any of the rational expression. That means this is the solution. Okay, let's do another one, which is x plus 1, x minus 4, minus x plus 1, and then x squared minus 7x plus 12. Okay, so for this one, again, you always try to start with factored amount. I have x minus 4 times x minus 3. And I factor the new denominator for the second rational function. After you factor that, you will notice that, okay, they both have a common part x minus 3. They only miss x plus 3, x minus 3. So that means in order to build the least common denominator, we just need to multiply 
x minus 3 on the top and the bottom for the first rational function. To do that, I have x minus 3 times x plus 1 over x minus 3, x minus 4, subtract x plus 1. Okay, so the next step is they have the same common denominator. I just need to subtract the top. Again, put the parentheses in case you made some mistakes. So in here, you might notice that, okay, this is nice. They have a common um, factor, which is s minus 1. So maybe I can factor them out, like the grouping. So I have x minus 3 minus, consider this 1 times x plus 1. So I can have minus 1, and then common factor, x plus 1. I got x minus 4, and then x plus 1, over x minus 3, and then x minus 4. Okay, so common factor, x minus 4. Now, I have x plus 1 and x minus 3. This is going to be the solution. Okay, so that's it for this section. I know the next part probably in here is a little bit complicated. If you're not sure to do that, there's another way to do it. It's to just simplify it. I use FOIL to simplify this part. I will get x squared um, minus 3 minus 2x and then subtract x minus 1 and over whatever the common denominator is. I can compute in this way. In that case, I have x squared minus 3x minus 4. Then you can factor the top. You will end up to get the same factor by using AC method. So now these two parts is the same. Or if we can see this right away, you will notice that hey, since they have common factor x plus 1, I can just pull the x plus 1 out. Whatever they left is going to be factored either way. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.